Hey guys, what's up? If you guys are new here, my name is Jacob. I am a beauty boy turned beauty boss, beauty influencer, business owner. I still don't even know what my fucking title is yet, but I do a lot of vlog content and makeup tutorials here on my channel. So if you are interested in any of those kinds of videos, be sure to subscribe. As you can see from the title, I'm gonna give you guys a full demo and my thoughts on the, this isn't really very new. This is new to me, but not new to like the scope of the world. Painted basic canvas palette by James Charles. If you have been living under a rock, James launched his makeup brand a couple years ago now and he recently brought out his very first eyeshadow palette. The reason why I was so interested in this palette in particular, in his previous collaboration that he did with Morphe, I couldn't fault it. Quite honestly, couldn't fault it. It was such a beautiful palette. Now, I'm here to review the makeup today, not review him as a person. I feel like this is going to be a very separate the artist from the art situation. I feel like we need to give James the same grace here because I'm excited to dig into this palette. This is makeup at the end of the day and I'm a makeup reviewer. If you guys have been eyeing this up, I do just want to point out that shipping was only like $5. So I'm assuming he's using a 3PL company here in Australia. He must have a warehouse somewhere that he's shipping out of because I remember when I first went to buy this palette when it first launched, the shipping was like $75 and I was like, absolutely not. Sent Express by Australia Post and it got here within like two days. I'm not gonna be going over how much the palette weighs and the grams of the pans and which eyeshadow is it eye safe and not. You can look it up on the website, it's all there. I don't know, whatever. This is about the makeup, not about. <laughs> No wonder why I'm such a shit reviewer. I'm gonna pop on some of our BK Beauty 8 Hours of Sleep under eye masks. These eye masks. This is just to really intensely hydrate my under eyes. Here is what the packaging looks like for the Basic Canvas palette. Really, really like the logo here at the bottom. And it says Basic Canvas, but it's kind of embossed. On the back, we have the entire palette, all of the ingredients, which ones are around the eyes, which ones aren't, whatever. And you basically have 12 months to use this after you've opened it. Which I think is actually really average, now that I think of it. I know that some Anastasia... I know that some Anastasia palettes are literally like, you have six months to use them after opening. Girl, buy. These are 3D paint swatches, or paint swatches, that mimic the shades on the inside of the palette, which is so, so cool. At the back, it looks like a little canvas. This palette is so fucking pretty. Did I need another neutral palette? Absolutely not. Here we have 24 shades of eyeshadows. I think let's play around with some of these pinks, warmer reds. Let's just, I'm put, you know when the sleeves are coming up, that shit's about to get real. Heart shake tape in the shade medium. I'm going to be using this as my eye base. Now I didn't pick up any of the actual like create paints or whatever they're called. Only because I don't really need them. I'm not really going to use them. So, and to be honest, most of them were sold out. He's saying that he did just come out with a bunch of like metallic shades that you can use to like cut a crease or whatever. And they look beautiful, but they're all out of stock. I'm applying quite a thin layer. I don't want too much. Obviously, as you can tell, I've had my brows lamied and my lashes lifted. Dee just did them a few days ago. Didn't she fucking kill it though? I haven't lamied my brows in like probably six months. Not for any reason, but like I just haven't done it. And when Dee did it, I was like, why did I ever stop? I have to have my breakfast, guys. So you guys aren't seeing this until after like my surgery is already done. The moment we're two days before surgery, we are 14 days on this pre-op diet. So far I've lost five kilos in two weeks, which is kind of crazy. I'm gonna start off in the crease using this shade Warrior, which is this light blush Pink. Oh wow, okay, she's actually quite pigmented. Right off the bat, I really like that when I'm dipping into this pan that there's not like a ton of kick up. I'm gonna take this, this is a show po brush. Don't ask. I'm gonna take the shade Vintage, this deeper pink tone. I'm kind of just tucking that more in the crease rather than blowing it up and out so much like I did with the first shade. That just gave like the perfect amount of depth. Once again, not much kick up. Okay, I don't know how this is gonna go, but we're gonna try it. Don't wanna make it like a, a traditional smoky eye or like a cut crease. I guess I'm kind of doing a little more of a halo eye. Wemple, Lummy Burgundy shade, a little lower in the crease line. Grab some more of that vintage. I'm gonna pop it right here in a corner. And I'm gonna make it a soft halo. Like I don't want it to be super dark in the inner and outer corners. I just want it to be like a little, ooh, 
like, you know, taken off those under eye patches. Then I'm gonna take some more of it out of corner. Do you wanna point out, there is no fallout. It is just looking beautiful, to be honest. This shade, Wemple, is usually with these kinds of tones that don't tend to grip the eye as well, but I'm having no issues with it take into the eye and then blending out. I'm gonna grab that brush that we use for the eye base. I'm gonna dip into a little bit of concealer and I'm just gonna pat this. This is gonna reinforce that concealer shade that we popped on in the first place create a little bit more of a tacky layer. Now our pigments have something to actually stick to. Don't want too much. As soon as you start over applying concealer, you're basically just must just conceal your entire eye. As you can see, there are a bunch of shimmers in this palette. I think I'm gonna take this one here or this one here. Let's do a little swatch. Okay, so this is that first one. It's called Cloud. Oh my Fuck. The second one is called Champs or Champs, like champagne I'm assuming. Think this one on the lid and this one as the highlight. So I'm taking Champs and I'm just gonna press it. Did you see how quickly and flawlessly that, that went on? I'm not just applying it where I've popped the concealer, I am bringing it up and around and out a little bit because I want this to be quite diffused. I think I wanna add that shade Cloud 9 just in the center here, just to like make it, you know, make it pop a little bit. So if you guys want swatches and shit, you can go watch his video. I'm not gonna do it in this video because ain't nobody got time for that. And if you really want to see swatches, you can literally just look at it in the palette. In my opinion, but anyway. If this is what the other colors in the palette are like, I cannot wait to use this on clients. Oh my God, this is so good. I'm not gonna do any liner. I feel I don't I don't think that this look calls for liner. Let's go in with the NARS Climax Mascara. This one's really old to be honest. I'm just it's just what's in front of me, so I'm just gonna use that. If you're interested in my review on this mascara, I don't think it's worth the money. I have said from day one of my career, mascara is mascara. Yes, there are different brushes, there are different formulas. And some wear better than others. You have your waterproof and your smudge proof and your tubing and blah blah blah. If you're gonna put a pair of falsies on anyway, it doesn't really matter. Mind you, I've tried every single brand, and to be honest, am I the only one that feels that way about mascara? Just gone ahead and finished off my base off camera. Before I do my blush and everything, I want to finish off the eyes. So, okay, I'm gonna grab like a little pencil brush. I'm gonna dip into the shade Warrior. Dipping into the shade Vintage, I'm gonna grab that on the inner and outer corner. And remember, the darker the color, the smaller the brush, okay? So, Wemple, yeah. Now, grabbing my pinky, I'm gonna take the shade Champs, this one here. I'm gonna look up and then drag it along my lower lash line. Shade Cloud 9 just on a brush and I'm just gonna pat that right in the center right where my iris is I guess like my pupil. Okay guys, so I just finished doing the rest of my makeup off camera I did end up putting a pair of lashes on we popped on the Roman half lashes by my brand BK Beauty If you guys are interested in these lashes be sure to snatch them up before they are gone because these are always out of stock Still a few left to go and grab them. It's just giving my eyes a little bit more of like a pulled up snatched kind of effect. Anyone who's wondering what is on my lips. It is Morphe Makeup Talk Lip Pencil, Maybelline 920 Nude Lust Lipstick, and the Fernando Hervas Nude Collective Nude 3 Gloss. That is what I have on my lips. My final thoughts on the painted palette. This thing is weighty, okay? This probably weighs 500 grams. It's not gonna be great for traveling for that reason, but in saying that, it has made all of these eyeshadow is depotable for that reason. So if you want to travel with it, you can take your six favorites, seven favorites, pop them in like a Z palette or something, and then go from there. But in terms of the quality of the shadows that I used in this tutorial, I'm blown away. Genuinely blown away. Like I was not expecting these shimmers to be as shimmery and punchy as they are. They are just unreal. And I cannot wait to dip into some of these other shimmers that are in the palette. I would have to give this palette maybe like a seven out of 10 so far. Obviously I've only used like five or six shades from this palette, so I can't speak to the rest, but from what I have used so far, I am 
extremely impressed. It does have all of the colors that you would pretty much ever need in it. If you are on the hunt for a brand new palette just to add to your collection, this is definitely a really, really good one to consider. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, of course, thumbs up, subscribe, all of that good shit. If you haven't checked out my journey thus far, as you're watching this, I am post op. So make sure you guys go and watch the vlogs that are linked in the playlist wherever they are. Go on my channel, it'll be there. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next one.